For right top, it should go to the right side there. So you can see how small image it works. So let me go back to our image now. So we are using this. Sometimes we use background like this. If you scroll down, you see the background also is scrolling. This is bad. What you do? Don't put background attachments fixed. So as I'm scrolling down, the background just stay there. It is not scrolling. Also, you can still change the background size. How do you want this background? Maybe is it cover or contain? You can see contain. You can see cover. So that cover means the way the image is. Bring it in. But if you don't specify this, it will just zoom my image. See, it just zoom my image. But if with this, it will bring it in. What if we now use contain? You see, if you check down here, there is white here. That means this contain is the way the image is with the height of the image. Enter this web page. But we use cover, it will cover the whole page. It will cover the whole page. You see, it covers the whole page. And at the same time, it will still make the image to look okay. Let's change our text color of our P. All our P, where is our P? Yeah, all our P. Let's change their color to white so that you can see our text. White. Wow. So you can, it's only this one that is red. Yeah, because it's the Dutch first class that we use. Hey, so. Okay, now let me quickly show you something here. Let me delete all this over here. Everything. Now our CSS, let me delete everything. Okay. So let's have a div with little text. Don't forget to remove this. Yes. So this are div. Let's tie it. Let's tie it. We run this in browser. You see. Okay. Now I want to let it have width. The width should be 300 pixel. You can see background, background color, color it should be this. You can see. Oh, I use deep, deep green. Let's use this. It this. Yes. Now color white. Now, if you want to put this at the center, how will you do it? Use margin auto. You can see it's most to the center. Now, what is now all this? Let's put space in between here. So that is what that is padding at the left side, left 10 pixel. You can see there's now space here at the left. Minutes padding, padding right 10 pixel. You can see padding bottom 10 pixel. You can see padding top 10 pixel. You can see now 
anytime anytime you see that left right button top have the same value like this 10 10 10 nothing have the same value what will you do you can just join all of them together it will become padding 10 pixels that's all it will work for all of them let's refresh anything happen no you see nothing happens so this is how you can centralize something and to make shadow to come out from this place that's when you can say box shadow this is four pixel left right bottom top what is the color of the shadow let me use green you can see it comes down if it's too much reduce this to two if that is too much use it to one yes so this is how to do shadow and what about if you want to achieve this let's say we have h2 like this welcome to shadow we now want to add text shadow to this h2 come to inside your css h2 text shadow so let's use 4 pixel 4 pixel grid firstly check how this one will work oh it's too much will it work like this like it's no work. so it is true yes yes ah it's too much this one one ah it's okay let me give it to you add more to yes it's okay add the last two make it four so four will not work it's three either three values or two values will work see so this color the color that brings here is gray so you will put red that means the shadow will be red. You see, the shadow will be red. Now that you have seen how width works here, what about height? Let's use 10 pixel. If you don't terminate, if you don't terminate putting semicolon, all this will not work. You see. The height of our D is very, very small. If you go on this 10, let me use 100. You see, it is, it is still not complete. So, how? Let, let's assume I have 70 here. You see, it's still not complete. But still, there should be a scroll bar here. So that when this thing is not complete, I can still scroll down to check the rest text you can see you can see all this text so it should just come inside what we do let's put overflow 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 to which side vertical that is scroll so you can see yes you can now scroll down to check what you have inside then we want to have our score by this x side. You can see that means it should be scrolling this side and as well as this side. But our text is not too long. Or you can just put overflow like this. You see, I refresh nothing. So that overflow means for both sides. So the best is overflow y. So that it will be on horizontal thing like this. Horizontal. Let's see how outline works. Our background is this. 